Welcome to the Friday Phoenix. On this week's episode, Biden destroys democracy with a bicycle, the Texas GOP wonders what's so bad about Gilead, and the airline industry has lost its damn mind. Plus, feral hogs, cocaine, orgies, and toenail clippings. I hope you're as ready to party as I am. Let's do this. Let's begin in the world of politics, where President Biden is asking Congress to approve a gas tax holiday. Walmart also announced that a new gas holiday ice cream will hit the shelves immediately should the measure pass. The Biden administration also wants to cut the amount of nicotine in cigarettes, which is great news for a nation that is literally on the knife's edge of boiling over into violence at all times. <laughs> this would be a great time to legalize weed, just saying. President Biden continues to have a rough go of it as he gently fell over on a bike because he was unable to get his foot out of a toe clip fast enough. Or, as Fox News reported it, Western democracy is in peril after Biden struggles to reach vehicular compromise. Turning from the current president to the last one, where several Trump officials were unaware that a documentary was being made about him until the footage was subpoenaed by the January 6th committee. Apparently, the camera they used to film the Trumps was cleverly hidden by a lampshade. Very stealthy. In other legal news, the Supreme Court ruled that the state of Maine cannot exclude religious schools from a tuition assistance program. The ruling was praised by religious conservatives, while representatives from the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster were pretty sure it was satire. Folks, the Texas GOP agreed on their party platform, and as we say in Texas, it's thornier than a cricket's dill hole on Tuesday. <laughs> we don't know what it means either. Among the items in the platform are declaring Trump the rightful winner of the 2020 election, having Texas secede from the U.S., and calling homosexuality abnormal. In fact, the Log Cabin Republicans, a group of gay conservatives, were denied a booth at the Texas GOP convention this year. The log cabiners have said if they're excluded just 17 or 30 more times that they might have to reconsider their commitment to the Republican Party. But why would the Texas GOP adopt a platform this radical? Well, it's to appeal to their party's base, which only makes up about 30% of voters. And I find this weird. What would it be like if you only wanted to make 30% of people happy in other areas of life? We'll take a look at our new segment, 30% Happy. At pizza restaurants, all pizzas will now be Canadian bacon and pineapple. A lot of people mad about that one. Neapolitan ice cream is now just strawberry. Mike and Ike's, you're gonna get just the ampersand and you're gonna like it. And that next threesome, it's all about Cheryl. Sorry, Mike and Tanya. Turning now to international news where Welsh paratroopers had their deployment canceled after a video emerged of them having an orgy. However, their recruitment is up 12,000%, with one new recruit saying, I don't have to jump out of an airplane into a shooting zone and I get to have freaky group sex? Sign me up! Over in Italy, feral hogs destroyed $22,000 worth of cocaine, and that was the best fucking party I've been to all year. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Swiss employees were injured in a team building exercise that required them to walk across hot coals. It was either that or go around the room sharing two truths and a lie about themselves, and I think they made the right choice. Over in business news, Frontier and JetBlue are finally bringing some drama to the airline industry as a bidding war rages over the acquisition of Spirit Airlines. No matter who comes out on top, Spirit has made it very clear that seatbelts will not be included in the deal and left no legroom to negotiate the matter. The entire airline industry is canceling flights at a rapid rate, leading to massive delays, missed connections, and anger from passengers. The CEOs of the major airlines issued the following guidance to help their employees deal with outraged customers. Back here on Terra Firma, the CEO of Starbucks is begging employees to come back to the office. He reportedly said, I'll do anything. I'll get down on my knees. I'll show up outside your window with a boombox. I'll even spend millions trying to fight unionization. Anything you want. Let's turn now to the exciting world of science, where a new study found that exposure to light during sleep is linked to obesity, particularly when that light is from the refrigerator. Scientists have unveiled a plan to remove microplastics from the sea with bionic robofish. In a related story, 
Producers for the next Sharknado movie have just announced their new villain. A woman is making serious money selling her toenail clippings and used earbuds. Ugh, gross. Just sell pictures of your feet standing in a puddle full of ranch-style beans like a normal person. Over in sports news, Cleveland Browns quarterback Deshaun Watson has settled 20 of the 24 sexual misconduct suits against him. Woo! Great job, Deshaun. You've only got four more to go. Get that legal ball into the justice end zone. And then maybe stop grabbing women's end zones for like five seconds, you freak. And finally tonight, an Omaha couple had to have 6,000 bees removed from their home. That's one honey of a problem. Let's hope their home insurance covers the entire cast of a Cheerios commercial. That wraps up this week's episode of the Friday Phoenix. Join us next week because there's always more news to peruse. Yeah, 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 if it's about it, but I don't think you step up to the challenge.